Hey guys, welcome. So today's video is on Zorin OS 17.1 core, not the pro version. So I had a subscriber leave me a message, uh, I think in the last two weeks, in regards to the sizes of text in the Zorin menu. Not really going to talk about icon set, but uh, I'm going to give you a different perspective as far as icon sets, but I'm mainly going to talk about the sizes of text today. I'm just giving you a different perspective of what you can do with your Zorin. And I have videos on how to install these kind of themes and icon sets. So they do have a, a little bit of effect on things. But uh, toward the latter part of the video, I'm going to switch back to the standard. And I'll let you see the difference. But we're going to talk about sizes of text. A couple of three ways of increasing that today. Probably maybe some of them are non-conventional as far as thought is concerned. I am filming in 1920 by 1080 and 100% scaling. I'm going to come back to that because that also affects the size of your text. So uh, this video is made for new users or any user of Zorin 17.1 core. Welcome folks. You are watching this on Linux for Seniors. Don't let that deter you from subscribing if you're not a senior. Linux is for any age. This round icon should be floating above the time and date. You can click that to subscribe. This is just a watermark to remind you of the channel you're watching. Okay? So I'm going to be talking about the sizes of text in here, the sizes of text underneath the folders, and stuff like that. I'll get this out of the way first. If you are curious about the theme I'm using, it is uh, called, um, the theme is called Sweet Ambar Blue Dark version 40. The icon set is called Candy. I do have videos on how to install this kind of stuff. All right, now that I'm in here, I'm going to first talk about fonts. Most people go in here and start changing things in here, thinking it's going to have a super effect on your menus and you may be disappointed. So we can certainly think about different fonts, yes, but I'm going to show you another way that has a fourth category along with scaling factors. I'll talk about that in a second. But the quickest way you can increase font sizes or the sizes of text in your menus and your panel bar or your task bar is to go to settings and then scroll down to accessibility and then look for the large text and slide this on. Take a good peek at that Friday, May 17th and the menu. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, everything just grew in here, but more importantly, that got bigger and so did the text in the menus. So that's the quickest way you can do this. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other ways. All right, first of all, if you don't have this installed, I'm going to open up the software store. Your icon will look different. TWE. If you don't have GNOME Tweaks installed, you can certainly install that. It takes a couple seconds. I have mine installed. I'm going to go look for it. TWE. Your icon will look different. So Tweaks has a couple of settings in the fonts area. I have one, two, three, four different types of categories and a scaling factor. I'm going to slide this over a little bit and I'm going to open up the file manager. Those fancy icons again are called candy icons. And again, I have separate videos on how to install themes like that or icon sets, I should say. All I want you to do is take a look at the text. So what I'm going to start doing is increasing this number. You will see this change and this change in the text in here as I crank this up. Okay, I'm just clicking. I'm doing this slowly. So, you know, you could manually punch in these numbers, but I just wanted to let you see what happens when you start clicking. You'll probably notice that that kind of bled off the edge and I have a scroll bar now. All right, so I could literally resize the window again. I'm only up to 1.25. Let's take a peek at the menu here for a second. Take a look at that and look at the text in here. All right, I'm going to keep going. 
I'm up to 1.3. I'm at 1.4. You can now see these are very large. Now I'm at, uh, oops, let me resize this box, sorry. All right, one and a half. I'm gonna leave it at that for a second. Okay, then I'm gonna click and drag to highlight and type in one period zero zero enter. So now I'm back to 100%. So you can utilize known tweaks to do this with. Under general, under appearance, under cursors, the name of this cursor is called radioactive. I installed that separately, different video. If you install tweaks, by the way, you do have red glass available to you. You don't have to install it. It should be already there. So is white. The standard mouse pointer or cursor is this one. If you care. Okay. I've had people also ask me on different distributions that are using GNOME, how do you turn these buttons on and off? It's done through here. Window, title, bars. You can see them turn on and off. Now all I have is a close button. Do you want these over here? Just a couple of more tips for you. So again, Scaling factor. Close. All right, so another option is settings. I made mention of this when I started this video, is your screen res. I'm capable of doing a bunch of different types on my graphics card and hardware. You may not have the same options that I do. But I can certainly film also in 4K, which I normally do not. I had done a, and I still have some videos in 4K, but I had a lot of people complain they preferred the 1080. And personally, when I make videos in 1080, they upload faster. This takes more of a bandwidth uh, and more space hard drive wise on both on the uh, YouTube servers and on my machine. Mm. But you can certainly lower the screen res and things will get bigger also for you. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about scaling factors in case you have that on your graphics card. 200% literally makes things bigger. If you have the capability to do in fractional, you can certainly activate that. Not everybody will possibly have this um, option. So screen res is an option. Do you have to be in settings mode? You can actually right click on your screen and get the display settings right here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go to back to Zorn appearance, talk about your fonts again, three selections. I'm going to switch the themes back to standard. First, I'm going to go dark and light. This is, I believe default, including blue is what you normally will have. Now you can see the icon sets back to normal. So is the menus. So if I just wanted to flip this over real quick, accessibility, toggle this on, everything just grew in size. And then I can turn this off just to give you the perspective. Thank you for watching.